Sí, sí. My Secretary General, Mr. Goming Singh, just now talked about Ma Pao Tan. I will continue a bit more from here. In the 1990s, Ma Pao Tan, they were expecting, the PAP were expecting a migration of Hong Kong people to Singapore because of the Hong Kong takeover, right? So they built extra flats. After that, the migration did not take place. There was a lot of empty flats, right? Yeah. There was over 10, over 1,000 empty flats at one point in time. They are all at Jurong West. Our minister, proclaimed by our minister mentor as a talent, people of helicopter vision, <laughs> helicopter vision, <laughs> cannot see, cannot predict, overbuilt. After that, he got scared. <laughs> after, night, after that, the economy grew. The people start coming in, they bought the flats. Okay. After that, he changed the policy. He don't dare to build. Hang the now. So change the system to build the order. Then you order, then he built. You order, then he built. Okay. And now, doing this from 2006 onwards to today. The government had let in 910,000 as of last year. 910,000 people into Singapore. And have, how many flats have they built? 20 over 1,000 HDB flats. Imagine these 900 over 1,000 people, how are they going to squeeze into these 20 over 1,000 flats? Where are they going to sleep? Ma Bao Tan's home. That's a good idea. So, during these five years, what has Ma Bao Tan been doing? Are they monitoring? Exactly! He is sleeping! What is he doing? Sleeping. Tiu Tiu Gong. He's doing everything except monitoring the population growth, the trend growth, the demand for flat. He don't dare to build, he underbuilt. Now we have this big problem here of a runaway HDB prices. Okay, and whose fault is that? Yes. So you know what to do for the people of Tambanese? You know what to do? Yeah! On Saturday, who are you going to vote? Yeah! Thank you. <laughs> vote him out. My colleague has touched about the secrecy of the vote. I don't want to touch a lot on that. I just want to say one thing. There's a lot of rumours going on now. Because there are a lot of constituencies at stake. Some of the constituencies definitely is going to fall, especially the GRCs. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Arjuni GRC is at risk. Tambanese is at risk. Chua Chukang is at risk. Yeah. Mountbatten is at risk. Yeah. Pioneer is at risk. Yeah. Because all these constituencies is at risk, the rumor mill is coming on and it's getting louder and louder. I'm hearing a lot of rumors saying that the vote is not secret, that next time you want to go and ask MP to do things, it's going to be very difficult because they will ask you why you vote for opposition. Yes. Remember this, I said it yesterday, I need to emphasize it again. Nobody know who you vote! Unless you open your mouth. If you don't open your mouth, nobody know who you vote. Is that clear? That is very clear. Nobody knows who you vote. They will give scare tactics. The RC, the CC, the CCMC will scare you. When you want to apply for any permit, when you want the MP to write any letter, they will say, 
why you vote for opposition. Okay? That is a scare tactic. First thing, they don't know who you vote. They just scare you. So when they ask you that question, don't be scared. Oh, you, 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 you. Okay? Don't. Stay tight. Come. I tight. When they ask you that question, why you vote for opposition? The first thing you say is that, who tell you I vote for opposition? <laughs> Remember this. Together, say with me. Who tell you I vote for opposition? The second thing you tell them is, I vote for you. The thing is, you better start writing my letter. Clear? Who tell you I vote for opposition? Okay, I vote for you. You better start writing my letter. I ask you to help me. So you better start working and stop asking me to kill and see your assistance. Okay? Right. Remember this. They don't know who you vote. They don't have access. Okay? And even pretending that they know it is illegal. If they say that and they challenge you, they say, come with me to the police station and tell that to the police officer. Yes! Okay? Always remember, tell them, anybody who tells you, hey, the boat is sacred, say, come to the police station and tell to the police officer. Okay? Clear? Is that clear? Everybody has any question on the secrecy of the vote? No. So, on 7th of May, who are you going to vote? Hey. Don't be scared. Go and vote without fear. Nobody knows. Okay? Next. I thought that this election is going to be very fair. Actually, it has been quite fair. They have given us sufficient time. Okay, not as much as we hope for, but it's much better than 2001, right? Where we were all rushing like mad, okay? Or 2006. Now, there is more time, things are slightly better, but it could be a lot better, okay? Until the PAP is getting all the heat. They're getting all the heat from the crowd, from you, the people. Yes! On... The first day of the rally, the Workers' Party has such a huge crowd, the ministers all get scared. Kandang! Kachuna! What? Siam I don't know about that. Eh? Kandang! They start threatening. They start threatening the people, saying that you'll regret. Will you regret? Tell it to them on the 7th of May. Say, you will not regret. Thank you. Because of the response, the, the quality of the candidates that we are putting out, the quality of our speeches, the quality of the people coming to support us. I have so many volunteers coming to help me. When I send out invitation for a rally, I have... So many of them coming to help me and we covered 109 blocks in 2-3 hours. Okay? Fantastic response! And for the PAP, you know they have people to distribute their flyers. You know who are they? Exactly! Bangla! You saw on YouTube. You saw on YouTube, who saw it on YouTube? Put out your hand! Yes. Okay. Today, I personally witnessed it myself. I told the Banga, why are you doing this? I, you do you know it's illegal? You could be exported. He quickly hide behind his manager. The manager said, no, no, he's my worker. But I say, I, I'm not complaining, I'm not complaining, I'm not going to make a re police report because I believe it's a fair contest. But do you know that it's not proper, it's not legal for you to get a blanga because you can get into trouble and the blanga can get into trouble. Okay? So he take note and quickly gets the blanga to go away and he do it himself. Okay? 
foreign talent. <laughs> Talented foreigners. And so I thought things are playing fair. Hello. Apparently it is not. Friday night, my opponent had a rally in the stadium. And somebody on the internet thought that there was a rich man's funeral in the stadium. Okay. That's right there, there's very few people. Okay. After that, after that, Friday night, Saturday night, my poster started disappearing. It started disappearing around PAP branch, HDB flats around the HDB branch. Sorry, uh, it started disappearing around uh, the HDB flats, the streets around the PAP branch area. It started disappearing. I don't know why, but it happens from there. I hope so. I hope they bring it up. They keep it. Okay, I don't mind. After that, yesterday, I see a few posters being torn down. They were pulling very hard. They cannot pull it out. Okay, so it dropped onto the floor. And some residents helped me to push it up as high as possible and tighten it again. I want to say thanks to all these helpers. Thanks. And today, they try even harder. One poster, block 692, 693 area. Second poster, 655 area. Six six five area. Today, I have four posters. You can see it's purposely being torn down. I don't know who tear it down, but as the heat gets hot, as the pressure from you gets higher, I expect more posters to be torn down. This is their tactics. Are they playing fair? They can tear down all my 500 posters. It's okay. I saved the money from telling my contractor to pull it down after polling day. <laughs> it is okay. They can tear down the posters, but they will not be able to tear down the spirit of our people. They will not be able to tear down the dignity of our volunteers and supporters. So on 7 of May, who you gonna vote? Who you gonna vote? Who you gonna vote? Who you gonna vote? Thank you. Our candidate for Mountbatten, Jeanette, is a very hardworking person. Is a very easy person to get along. I know her very shortly, but I, interacting with her, I know that she is sincere and wanting to serve you. Yes! Many people, I give my handphone to my residents in uh, Pioneer. Many of them call me, some of them call me to ask about legal issues here and there, okay, about the law. Some I can answer because as parliamentarians, we make law. So we can know certain things about the law which we can ad advise, not legally, okay. But you have a trained lawyer here who will give you legal advice. And they will do legal workshop for you. And that is a big plus. Okay. So, but is that music going on? Okay. 
Okay. Okay. So in this election, okay, one last, I just take two minutes. Our Minister Josh Yeo said that it's a dilemma that the Workers' Party put on the people. Okay? This dilemma of who to vote is brought about by the because it chose to build a GRC and the only way for them, for us to break that dilemma once and for all is to break this GRC for this election. Remember, on 7 of May, whichever constituency you stay in, go in, vote without fear, and break at least two GRC. Thank you. Vote for NSP.